Hi, I'm Gary and welcome to Jargon Free Help. Now, just a little bit different this week, I want to show you how to do something. Pat has emailed me. They've got lots of recipes and music on their computer. They've got a MacBook, but it does actually matter what they've got because you can do this on a PC as well. And they've got an iPad and they want to get those documents, which are recipes and also some music onto their iPad so they can use it wherever they go. And they want to know how you can actually do that. So I'm going to show you how to do that. You don't need to see me any longer and I'm just going to show you right here on the iMac that I have how to do this and really it's quite straightforward the first thing you need to do is open up iTunes and connect up your iPad and you've got this apps bit here you need to click on that and when you scroll down further below where these apps actually are you'll see there's another apps section here now Pat has got pages which I have as well but there's lots of other things as well where you might have to transfer documents around one way you can do it is sometimes you can email it to yourself so if you've got a word document you could email it and if you've got your email on your iPad or iPhone you can open it there and then you can read it but pages is a word processor and you could actually do some editing and things on there as well so here are a list of my apps and as you can see I've got pages right down here and to get them from the computer to the iPad and by the way this is going to change apparently with the new version of what they call iOS which is the one that's going to use the cloud iCloud is Apple's version of it and it's meant to synchronize all online and stuff but still you may need to use this so here's pages I click on this add button here and this doesn't matter whether you're using a PC or a Mac, you just simply click on Add. And OK, if you're using a PC, you just got to go and find the files where you kept them and it would look a little bit different to how you've got it here on a Mac. But basically, exactly the same principle, just go and find your files. And as you can see, I've got two files here. I've got this one here, which is actually a Word document, and this one here, which is a Pages document. So I'm going to select both of them. I could select them one by one and open them. I'm going to click on open. Now one of the great things about pages is it does convert Word documents into pages so you can use them on the iPad, which is just fantastic. Now all I need to do is click on sync. You see these two files here? One's called a Word document and the other one's called transferring documents. I'm just going to click on sync. And as you can see, it's just quickly syncing away there and any moment now it's going to finish the sync on the iPad. It's already done. I haven't removed anything from this. Now what you're going to need to do is once you're there, you now need to click on the plus sign up here when you start pages and choose copy from iTunes. Click on that, select the file, do the same for the other one, and you're away. They've all been imported. If I've got a document here and it's in pages something I've created on the iPad, I can transfer that as well. I just simply open it click on the spanner at the top there click on share and print and choose send to iTunes you'll see there were some other options there and I can send it as pages PDFs which I know a lot of you are familiar with and also I could send it as Word but I'm going to send it as pages I'm going to do that okay I'm now going to click on sync on my iTunes and there it is look how quick that is I promise you I've cut nothing out now, if I want to save that onto the computer, what I can do is just click on Save To and choose where I want to save it to and click on Open. And that will now be on my computer and I can open it and work on it and then I can do the same thing again to transfer it back. A little bit of fiddling around and file management here. This is all going to change when you get the iCloud, should you be going for that. And basically, if you change it on there, it's going to change on your other devices automatically. So if you're working on something and then you're using it on the iPad, the iPhone, or on here, on your computer, they'll all stay in sync. And I think that's just marvellous. So that's how you can actually move files around. So I hope, Pat, you get all your recipes and music on there and you get a lot of enjoyment out of your iPad. So anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget, jargon-free help is more than just technology. And I shall see you next week.